check out this nice view. Wow, that'd be nice to have that view. <laughs> I don't have that view. Um, all right, where to start? It is day after surgery, it's noon. Um, I have my cute little Santa shirt on for the kids here. Not that I'm seeing any kids, but um, I'll just kind of give a recap of last night a little bit and this morning. Um, so I think probably after I put the camera down, Jason left around 11, 10 or 11 last night. Went back home to get a good night's sleep, take care of the kids at home, get them in bed. They're good to do that by themselves, but just wanted to make sure that I think they were getting anxious. We were filling them in about how Abby was doing, but we could both tell that like needed a parent to come home and reassure him that she was okay. Sorry. Um, and uh, so he went home and I think Abby and I slept from, slept decently I think. Well no, we didn't fall asleep until midnight. And then um, we slept from 12 to 2 and woke up for pain meds and not, like I don't even remember what. But we just, and then I realized that she had a probably whatever either ibuprofen or, or a Tylenol dose 45 minutes later so I kind of just stayed awake um, while she and we probably had fed her liquids or whatever and we had these little syringe little um, straws that we used to feed her um, and uh, so I kind of stayed up until about three getting her her next round of meds and settled back into bed and it just takes a lot to to do all that kind of stuff and then slept again from three till I don't know 4 30 or 5 um, and got some oxy at that time she was feeling a lot of pain she's definitely metabolizing the Tylenol and the ibuprofen fast um, we didn't really explain it yesterday, but she definitely metabolized the um, anesthetic. The surgeon was like, oh, she woke up that fast. <laughs> um, and the nurse was like, still prepping her recovery room, getting us ready to come into the room when she woke up. And she was like, oh, okay. I usually have um, parents here by the time you wake up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but she just it metabolizes so fast that she um, woke up really fast. We actually, I don't think we said it, but I think we ended up staying in recovery for three hours waiting for that room. It took a long time for them to get to cleaning that room. So I have to respect the people that are coming into this little area here. Um, so anyway, flash, fast forward back to the middle of the night. Um, slept from probably 5 until 6.30 when um, surgical team came in to check on her, check it, um, the progress of her, look at it, um, you know. They were nice though, they didn't want to turn the lights on and do anything too invasive. invasive. They wanted her to kind of stay asleep, asked her some basic questions that she could just answer with her hands, asked me a few questions, um, looked in her mouth and then with their phone flashlight to keep the room dark and then let her go back to sleep. And then we both went back to sleep and then the surgeon came in at about 7.30 to check on her and he's just the nicest man. He just, he really understands Abby and um, his first comment was, oh, she looks so less swollen than I thought she would be. You know, because he had told us that she would get progressively more swollen before the swelling would go down. So he was like, oh wow, she looks fantastic. <laughs> and he's like, she, she still could swell up, but like her lips are less swollen and that's the only thing we're seeing that's swollen. And he's even like telling us like her cheeks looking as rounded as they are. He's like, that's not really swelling. That's her new shape. He's like, you can see her new shape. That's not, that's not swelling. He's like, she looks really, really good. Um, and uh, we have to suction out her nose and her mouth. We haven't had to do her mouth today. Actually, we haven't had to do either one, but throughout the night we had to suction her nose quite a bit and her mouth when she sat up too quickly we had to hurry and section her mouth out um, we've done like saline rinses 
because um, she can't brush her teeth yet. Um, I don't know. It, there's a lot. It's just, it's constant, like, care for both me and the nurses that come in. And um, I have to just basically straw feed her from the syringe. Uh, she's on a liquid diet. It doesn't have to be clear. So she has water, apple juice, chocolate milk, and a strawberry smoothie that are in the fridge. <laughs> that she rotates through. Um, she's gone to the bathroom twice. This is all just to document it and let you know that she's doing okay. Um, but she slept more today. Um, she was up quite a bit this morning after the surgeon um, as we had to do saline rinse, a mouthwash rinse. She ate a lot with me. Um, I think we did like three-fourths of the chocolate milk, um, some smoothie, some apple juice, lots of water, and then um, all the other little rinses and stuff. So she slept um, when Jason got here with my breakfast. He brought me breakfast and um, got her kind of all cleaned up and tucked her into bed probably at around 10.30 or so. And he let, Jason let me take a nap with her until about 15 minutes ago. Um, and it's been quiet ever since. And of course it would be super quiet and non, you know, no work involved um, as soon as he got here. But so when I decided to come out here to, um, to kind of talk to you and I'm going to call my dad here in a second and maybe my sisters. Um, I was like, okay, you need to give her some chocolate milk and you need to give her some smoothie. And he's like, whoa, wait, wait, wait. I need you to come and help hold the, th the bottle. And I was like, no, <laughs> you can do this. You can do this. I need to step out. I need to enjoy the view a little bit. Um, anyway. So we're going to decide in the next two hours or so I want to stay one more night. I want to really be on top of the pain, med, pain meds and we're going to go home with Oxy regardless of when we go home. He's giving us double the dose allowance um, to make sure she that we overlap her gap. Um, he doesn't want her to have any gap in pain. Um, whether we're here in the hospital or we're here at home or at, we're at home, it'll be harder at home. And so that's why I want to stay one more night. Um, but I'm telling her she can choose. If she'd be more comfortable to be at home, I'm going to let her choose. Um, I just really want to stay. It's uncomfortable. It's awkward. It's hard. It's exhausting. But it's going to be all that at home too. And I just can't manage it as well at home so we'll see what we do but that's the update for day two He's, it's seven o'clock. It's hard to uh, film during the day because when she's sleeping, I don't want to turn the camera on and talk. And he, he left for part of the night to go get us dinner and then we had to hurry and eat because then she wanted to eat. And then it, it takes us like an hour and a half to do the feeder. <laughs> well, what's that one? You were talking to her sister right there. This meal, before that, it just takes a lot of time. Okay. So he's gonna go home with the other two kids. Um, Kaylee's Jacobs, and um, and uh, we'll just see you tomorrow. Please. Yeah, well, I'll keep going today, but it's harder to do it alone. <laughs> it is what it is. We have it's, kids. I know. Yeah, I know. I'm not worried about it. Either way, it's just it's daunting knowing what the night looks like already. That's the only thing, and that you can't stay, so it's fine. Okay.
I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. I just thought maybe he would stay for the dinner stuff, but I also have a pull to the kids at home. Yeah, they should be fed, so. Yeah. So, go home, be with them. We'll right. see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. We're gonna stay overnight, if you haven't caught on. We're not going home today. <laughs>